thank you very much, uh, Count Caller, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, commend and congratulate and welcome the work that is being done by our local authority members, obviously Staffy Off and County Kerry, but I appreciate the good work that is done by county councillors in formulating county development plans, local area plans. An awful lot of it is um, unheard of work, Kion Caller, but it's, it's very important work in their localities, and I thank whatever political breed or parties or whatever they are, I don't care about that. I thank them for their work and for their efforts. I want to speak to some of what is contained in this bill, but also can call it what's not contained in it. For example, uh, with regard to section 7 of the bill, with, with regard to extensions, that, that is of course welcome. Because if there's genuine cases, because of COVID and COVID-related issues, that uh, plannings need to be extended, of course that should be supported, and that's why I would support this bill. But in doing that, there are questions, for example, quarries <coughs> that have been affected over over a, a number of, of uh, issues to do you may have any. oh sorry I, yes, I I'll say that in a second now with regard to quarries and issues that they would have um, because of a, a need for extensions to their times where is the provision in this bill for them? And of course, in saying that, I want to, as I always do in matters such as this, Count Caller, is to declare that I may be considered to have an interest in this because of our family interests and things like that with, with machinery and stuff. But what I would say is that the stuff that is not in this bill, that should be there. And for example, I want to talk about board planala. And I want to talk about, for example, where board planala can send out an inspector to look at a development. It could be anything. It could be something where housing is badly needed in a built-up area. It could be a once-off house. And that inspector, in their, or his or her wisdom, will say, for instance, would write up a positive report. That inspector would be the only person to have gone and looked at it. That person goes back up to a meeting of Bor Planala, and I want to dispel in case people think that Bor Planala is a very organized group. It is most certainly not. These are hard hoc meetings that are held at their own convenience sometime in the evening when their other jobs are finished with. And when they sit down in, in some gathering, and there might be three people at the meeting. You have the inspector who wrote up a positive report, and you might have two others. And they would have never, ever gone to see the development. They might have only barely scratched or glam gl glimpsed at the inspector's report. And they come along and vote against it, and the person is refused and denied their planning. How many projects have Bor Planala held up in this country back over the years? How much hurt and how much harm have they done? And how much longer are we going to stand idly by and watch people that have vested interest in trying to stop people and trying to hold people up and trying to get at people? How long are we going to allow that type of activity to continue? Because by God, I know one thing, it'll have to stop. With regard to family members who want to build on family farms, I don't see anything in this about protecting those people. And when we are talking about changing planning rules and guidelines, we should be enhancing and protecting the right of people to live in the countryside. Of course, it is important to see our villages being built up and strengthened, and I welcome government policy which uh, in enhances and supports that. I welcome the fact that local authorities are promoting and encouraging people, but in many cases, we don't have sewerage schemes. If you take places like can mayor where we need an extension to our scheme and we're allowing no development there until that happens. Cahar Daniel, where there's raw sewerage flowing into, into the, to the river and many other villages. How can we encourage people to live in places like that where we don't have sewerage schemes to take the sewerage that will be created by the extra growth? I want to thank and compliment people who have done great work back over the years. People like Jim Connolly of the Rural Dwellers, Dwellers Association, our own James Dial from Beaufort, who was a, a backbone of the Rural Dwellers Association, a group of people set up to encourage and promote the living in rural areas, and something that I would always encourage and try to support. Objectors. 
Where is the attack on the objectors, the serial objectors who do nothing good with their lives, only sitting at home, playing with computers, throwing out their miserable 20 pounds and objecting to people's hopes, their dreams and their aspirations? Where are they when it comes? There is people in Kerry who have died, who have gone to their grave without seeing their family members build on their family farms, all because of horrible objectors.